Hi, I'm Eva Murphy from Electronic Engineering at IT Sligo, and this is my Leave Insert Maths Grinds channel. I'll regularly add new videos for both higher and ordinary level maths, so make sure you subscribe below and click the bell icon to be notified of new videos. Okay, let's have a look at some calculus of inverse trig functions. A student asked me to do this one. If y is equal to the sine inverse of 3x minus 1, show that dy dx is equal to 3 over uh, root 6x minus 9x squared. Okay, two things to point out here that I notice. One is that this will end up being a chain rule. I have sine inverse of a function. Okay, so that's my first function. And then I have an inner function here, 3x minus 1, and that in itself can also be differentiated. So I have a function that can be differentiated on its own inside a bigger function. Okay, so those two functions, as I draw them there, are chained together. Okay, so this is a chain rule. The second thing that's important is that in the log tables, page 25, I have um, on, on your table of, of calculus, you have f of x functions and f dash of x functions. So we actually have a rule for uh, the inverse trig functions. Okay, so sine inverse of x over a, I'm going to copy this one out, sine inverse of x over a is equal to 1 over root, did I do that right, 1 over square root of a squared minus x squared. Okay, so taken from the log tables. So that's what I'm going to end up doing. Okay, so I'm going to do this question two ways. I'm going to do it one formally and the second one informally because different schools teach it different ways. Okay, so, so this would be what I would call a, a formal way of doing it. Okay, and it's where you use the substitution method. You substitute the inner function, let that equal to u. Okay, um, and let's differentiate it. And therefore, I can now write my y function, my original function, as the sine inverse of u. Okay, so what have I done there? This function here. I have let u equal to 3x minus 1, okay, and therefore I've rewritten this as the sine inverse of u, okay. So now if we differentiate it using what was in the log tables, okay, so let me move it up beside it, I would get dy du now, why is it called u? Because I'm differentiating with respect to u, I'm still differentiating the y function, that's why it's called dy, it's re with respect to u, so it's called dy du. So that's equal to, and I'm going to put my u over 1. The reason for that is here. Okay, what's on the top we label as x, what's on the bottom we label as a. Okay, so this is my x and this is my a. Okay, and I'm now going to sub these into this formula here. So dy dx is equal to 1 over the square root of my a is 1 squared, my x is u squared. Okay, so what have I done there? I have let the inner function uh, tick on the letter u just to simplify it. I've then rewritten my, my, my equation in terms of u and I've differentiated. And then also my inner function which I let be u I've also differentiated it. So I'm differentiating the equation u, so that's why it's du, and the letter I'm, u, I'm differentiating with respect to is x, so du dx. Okay, now I was asked for dy dx, so how do I, how do I form that? Well, dy dx is equal to dy du by du dx, okay? And that's um, a version of the chain rule that's at the bottom of your log tables. It's just, a, I think, a, a, an easier way of doing it. In theory, why is it the same? Why is this the same as dy dx? Well, in theory, the du and the du, one on top, one on bottom, cancel. And you can see 
that you're just left with dy dx. So what you've done is you've broken these two functions that were chained together down into two separate functions. Okay, so let's sub them in then. Your dy du is here. So it's 1 over the square root of 1 squared minus u squared. And you multiply that by du dx, which will be here. So by 3. Okay. So just like with any other fraction, top by top over the bottom. Okay, that's how you multiply any fractions. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to sub back in for, for you, because remember we just used u as a placeholder for 3x minus 1. So let's put our 3x minus 1 back in where u is. So it's 3 over the square root of 1 squared is 1 minus u is 3x minus 1, all to be squared. Okay, so what did I do there? I squared the 1 squared to give me 1, and I just subbed back in the u. And I have it in a bracket, obviously, because it's squared and because there's a minus here. So what I'm going to do now is work out what's underneath that square root sign, so that I end up with 3 over the square root of 1 minus, so 3 squared if you want, I can write it like that, just in case anybody doesn't see what I'm doing. So I'm just squaring out that bracket. So it's equal to 3 over the square root of 1 minus. So 3x by 3x is 9x squared. 3x by minus 1 is minus 3x. Minus 1 by 3x is minus 3x. And then minus 1 by minus 1 is plus 1. Okay. So let's work through that minus now. So I'm going to minus all of these. So minus 9x squared. Minus 3x minus 3x is minus 6x. But I have minus minus 6x. So he's going to be a plus 6x. And then I have minus by plus 1 is minus 1. Okay, so what happens then is the 1 and the minus 1 cancel and you're left with dy dx being equal to 3 on the top over the square root of and all they've done here is literally swap the order of these. So it's 6x minus 9x squared. Okay, so that's formally how you do calculus and, and using the substitution method for you is, is really, really good when the uh, questions are, are complicated. Okay, there's an informal way of doing it um, and you might have done this with some of your chain rule questions. So let me just copy this now onto a new page and let me do it informally. Okay, so, so remember I was saying it's it's a chain rule, okay? Um, this still stands, I, I still need to copy this. Okay, because that is the master function, if I can call it that. It's, it's, it's an inverse trig function. You can see the sign inverse. Okay, so if I was to do it informally, that just means I don't, I don't use, um, I don't sub in u for 3x minus 1. I kind of do it all in one go. So what do I mean by that? Okay, well, I would say um, y is equal to the sine inverse of 3x minus 1 over 1, okay? Whenever I don't have an a on the bottom, I put in over 1, okay? So there is my x and there is my a, okay? And I'm going to sub directly into this now, okay? So therefore, dy dx is equal to 1 over the square root of a squared, so 1 squared, minus um, x squared, and my x is 3x minus 1. 
okay it's a chain rule so i must multiply it by the inner function differentiated okay so don't forget this part if you're doing chain rules informally um and then it's the same as before so top by top and then on the bottom i have one squared minus three x minus one by three x minus one okay and you multiply it out so i'm not going to finish it because it's the exact same as where we are here so these three lines will be the same so it's how you approach the question is really the difference between informal and formal and you will tend to find a method that suits you um, and you may even stick by it okay what i would say to you is if you can wrap your head around the formal method then no matter how hard the questions get you have a method that will work and you won't get confused you won't get confused as to what do you need to multiply it by the chain parts because the formal method will lead you but pick your way and do it whichever way makes sense if you've enjoyed this video then why not join us in IT Sligo and use maths in practice. In conjunction with industry, we've designed an exciting new programme in electronics and self-driving technologies, which uses cutting-edge techniques such as artificial intelligence, computer vision and virtual and augmented reality. You'll need a H5 in maths to qualify. Check out the link below.